Hello and welcome to the official Cricket Carts YouTube channel. I'm Noah, and today we'll be going over how to diagnose and fix problems with the Cricket Charger. The charger is located directly underneath the bench seat. To begin checking if your charger has problems, simply plug it in. There are four lights that should come on when your charger is plugged in, the power light and the three charging lights. If the light is off, there may be a terminal connection problem. To find the cause of this problem, we will need to access the battery box. Start by removing the bench seat, which can be removed by flipping up and then pulling out. After that, use a Phillips head screwdriver to undo the two screws on either side of the charger box. You can lay the charger box on top of the control box. If you want to minimize the risk of scratches, lay down something soft first. I've used foam. There are four latches holding in the battery box. Undo them, and then pull out firmly. The batteries should now be visible, and we can begin diagnosis. Before doing anything with the batteries, make sure that your cart is turned off. If the batteries themselves look damaged or corroded, be sure to call your local dealer for assistance. The light positioning corresponds directly with the wires. You should have two contacts at the very end, a positive and a negative. You will find the terminal connection problems here. If this is the case, just reconnect the terminal by unscrewing the bolt and then feeding the bolt back through the terminal. If all terminals are connected correctly, the problem may be the fuses. If this is the case, remove the bad wires from the battery. The fuses are located here above the wire. Using a pair of pliers or other tool to hold it in place, pull out carefully so as not to shatter the fuse. Inside you'll find our glass 30 amp fuse. We sell these on our website, and they're easy to replace. Pull out the bad fuse and slide in the new one. Reaffix the wire by pushing the two ends together until you feel the click. Then just replace the bolt from the terminal. To check if the repairs were successful, plug the charger back in. All four lights should now be on. If your power is draining too quickly, make sure that this switch behind the control box, which connects to our remote transmitter, is off. This switch should only be on if you're using the remote. If for any reason the charger is still having problems, call Pro Charging Systems. Their number is 800-742-2740. They will ask for the serial number on your charger, located on this wire. To learn more, or to find a Cricut Cart dealer near you, check us out at CricutCarts.com. Like and subscribe, and thanks for stopping by.